Ladies, gentlemen, everything in between, today we're going to be looking at some title animation effect type thing. We're going to be focusing on some CRT VHS vibes. I'm going to be doing one example and it's going to involve a lot of effects. So it's going to be pretty dense, but when you put everything together, it's going to look super cool, super clean, a lot of cool colors, glows, texture, which we love. But without further ado, let's hop straight into After Effects where I have my composition set up. 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. I'm going to start out with some text, you know, keep it pretty simple. And in this case, I'm just using Satoshi. Let's place it just about up here. With your pen tool, make a little line like that. Let's do maybe 50, 50 width. Duplicate a couple times, take the last one, scoot it down here, select them all, then over here in your align thing, distribute them just so we get some even space in between them. On the, just one of them really, go and add a trim pulse. And then at about, let's do two seconds, keyframe the end, go back to the beginning, set that to 0%, highlight the keyframes. In this case, I'm just gonna use flow to get some easing on there. Then we can take all of this, just highlight that, copy it, and paste it onto all of them. So, so far we have this animation. I'm just gonna select these keyframes, then using motion tools, I'm just gonna stagger them. But before I do that, I wanna make sure that we have it in the right order. And there we go, that's pretty good. So top to bottom and then sequence them by, let's say two frames. So we have something that looks kinda of like that. I'm gonna pre-comp these and I'm just gonna name it lines. Go into the pre-comp, add an adjustment layer and we're gonna add a liquify. And that's just going to give us a little bit of flare in the air. Open that up, increase the brush size a good bit, and then drag. We just want a little bit of a wave look. And you can mess around with this, get the look that you really want. So playing that back, we just have the lines coming out and they do this little swelly whatever. I'm going to do something I don't usually do. I'm going to select my layers and I'm going to add a motion blur to them. This will come in handy later, but for now, don't worry too much about it. We can close out of that pre-comp and just make sure we also have motion blur turned on file layers in hand. I'm gonna go to, let's say, two seconds as well. I am gonna use my anchor point mover, which is also a free plugin. Move it down to the bottom right corner. Hit scale, keyframe at 100%, go back to the beginning, set it to zero. Again, we wanna select our keyframes and we wanna add some easing to it. Just, you know, we wanna keep it pretty smooth, turn up our lines layer for now. So now we have something that looks kinda like that. Just a nice, very simple, animation we want to keep that in mind throughout this vhs animation thing we want to keep it simple because back in the day they didn't have complex thing images so we are essentially trying to take a super complex program after effects and trying to recreate something that had one percent of the features it has anyways now we have this text here which is you know it's it's cool it's whatever we're going to add a couple of effects to it first one being echo let's set the echo time to point negative point zero zero five and increase the number of echoes, let's do 50. And we want to decrease the decay to like 0.9. That is going to give us a nice little fade, almost like a motion blur trail. Now we want to add something called Colorama. Uh, I've covered it once before, I think, not super in depth. You should watch Sky's video on Colorama because he goes in whole crazy type of depth. But essentially what you need to do is just change the get phase from intensity to alpha. And then go into your output cycle and just set that to, let's do a file. You can set it to whatever. You can even, if you just go into, let's do a ramp gray. You can take this white color, set it to maybe an ice yellow color. And then over here, maybe add a red. I am also going to add a false box blur. That's just going to give us just a little bit of detail. Just do it at 0.5 just to get some of that kind of retro feel. Nothing too super sharp. So far we have this little animation here where we get a nice trail coming in. Duplicate the system failure, drag it below, and then we're going to change our echo time. So let's do negative 0.1. Increase the trail to double of that and then set the decay to let's do 0.9. Eight. And that's just going to give us a little bit of a different look in the trail and combining them together is going to give us a super sick look. You could definitely see something like this in like a 90s, 80s, 70s, I don't know, old. I'm going to duplicate my system failure and just remove all of it. I will keep the color to something that's kind of beige-ish. So playing it back, we have something that looks kind of like this. Super nice little title, nothing crazy yet. Now that we have our text set up, we can go in and pre-comp it and just name this 
title and let's show both of our layers let's change the color of the lines just a little bit more of a punchy color because it's kind of washed up orangey yellow as such just give it some oh we can go into our title and i want to copy this colorama effect and just paste it onto my lines and we can just add an adjustment layer in here and paste it onto that and that's just going to give us some of that same color in the motion blur which is why we enable the motion blur so it's just going to add a little bit of finesse and we can also go in at the false box blur to that adjustment layer as well just for some more low res vibes anyways we've got this first setup but it's it's lacking a lot of something first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take both of these and i'm going to pre-comp them now that we have this composition we're going to add a new solid and i'm just going to name this dot layer i'm going to add a venetian blinds to it set that to 50 and let's set the width to 8 maybe i don't know why it keeps doing this this is very weird off the fix is not being my friend and then duplicate it set it to 90 and that's just going to give us a little bit of a dot layer we can play around with the completion and the width that looks pretty good and then let's add a false box blur just to make it a little bit smoother let's set that to maybe 0.5 let's just make it a dark black type thing and then we can track with that that's just going to give us a little bit of texture in there just play around with it until you get something that you thoroughly enjoy now if we duplicate this main animation two times so we have three in total we can go in and we'll add a set channels effect. and in this case we're going to turn everything off except for the blue and then set matte set channel sorry then turn the blue off and the red off and then on the last one we are going to keep the red one only so blue off green off and then we select all of them change the blending mode to add if we take the main and the second one for example set the scale to 100 point three you can see that we're going to start getting some of that we're going to get some we're going to get some of that from a RGB split look and then of course it depends on which layer you're moving around and whatnot play around with this and then we can of course take these and select all of them using motion tools again just offset them by one frame sequence them and that's going to give us even more of a chroma split add an adjustment layer add deep glow or you can use a regular glow it's up to you really I'm going to decrease the radius to about 250 maybe even 150 and that's going to give us some really nice color in there it also has a chromatic aberration so you can add even more if you want to just play around with this glow setting until you get something that you want you can play with the brightness and whatnot let's leave it at that and now we can really go in let's say we return this to 100 and maybe scale this down to 99.8 and play around with it and we'll add transform to this middle layer and we are going to alt click the position add post rest time six and then wiggle let's do 200 comma three my good old trusty and that's just going to add a little bit extra separation in there and you can see we're getting some pretty cool colors so far can even add motion blur to all of these and it's going to give even more and then go back into our main composition here and if you then add an adjustment layer and add a hue and saturation you can go in and you can change the color that you want um which is just a really easy way of changing the kind of vibe that you're going for it just makes it super easy like this blue one looks super crazy let's add an adjustment layer and add pressurized time to it set that to 12 duplicate that put it underneath delete the pressurized time and add a transform scale 101 or click the position pressurize time six let's do a wiggle 15 comma three and let's just name these before i forget you can either do this with the deep glow or you can do it on an adjustment layer by itself it's really up to you i'm going to show you the other way just you're interested you can add an adjustment layer let's do a uh, curves or you can do a brightness and contrast it really depends on how you like to work increase the brightness a little bit and then you can go in in the opacity of this by hitting t alt click it do a wiggle and let's do a 10 comma 500 so it'll give us a little bit of brightness flicker so playing that back you can kind of see it flickering a little bit which is just giving it a little bit more life we can even increase this which is going to make it flicker even more i want to go back and kind of show you how you can change this effect look of it a little bit if you take this the effects we have applied to the venetian blinds type of thing actually just take the venetian blinds copy those select our three layers that we 
link to it and i'll show you how this changes so right now we just have this which is also pretty sick in and of itself we can go into our main animation and if we just add the effect to the items itself you can see how it will change the look in here in terms of how the colors blend you can see we get some artifacting here which is pretty sick there's a lot of cool ways you can finesse this effect and just create some different looks just depending on how you stack the effects and how you lay everything so far we have this animation pretty simple we get some nice flickering which you can always adjust like i showed you we get some really cool colors in here and overall it's pretty it's a pretty low fidelity look but I take all of these pre-comp them and i'm just gonna not even worry about the name for now add a background let's do a slight off gray background put it behind and then add another adjustment layer and add add green let's add some green to this bad boy change this to the final output and this is just going to help sell the effect even more give us some really you can already see how sick that looks i will up the intensity to about 1.3 and the size to maybe 0.8 it's just going to give it a little bit of a harsher look and in animation i'm just going to change the animation speed to point three you can already see how sick that looks the blends the colors and everything you know it just adds a lot of just good vibes to it i downloaded this texture from texture labs um, it's 4k texture super high quality set that to overlay decrease it to maybe maybe even less than that honestly so let's add another adjustment layer and add optics compensation increase that ink a bit and that's just going to give us some really nice distortion in there kind of like a tv screen almost you want to add a transform off of that and just scale it up so we don't get any weird edges out there like that and just like that we have something super lo-fi super cool looking is it quick yes does it look good very and is it pretty much done all natively or can be done natively in AE obviously so with that being said I just want to say thank you for watching along I hope you learned something new in this tutorial RGB splits little color flicker effects you know just a little bit of sauce here and there that's how we do around it but uh, thank you for watching I appreciate it a whole bunch and uh, I'll see you again next week so with that being said peace out